We are back. Back. Back again. After a long <clears throat> layoff. How yeah. Long, how long has it been, Chris? I don't know. Too long. We failed. We did. We back. pulled up short. And that, you know, remember when we talked about this, when we started this podcast, it's like, you know what? Let's just do it as yeah. long as we can do it. And then deer season came. <laughs> and then we did deer season and no podcast. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of how it works out. Uh, yeah. But, so, yeah. But we, we're back, so that means we're not quitters. So. That's not, no, no, we didn't officially quit. <laughs> we took a break. Yeah. We took a break. A lot, a lot, a lot has happened since oh, yeah. we took a break. For sure. And yeah, so we can dive into that in any direction you would like to go because. Yeah. <clears throat> Might as well start at the when we stopped, and that would be last deer season. Last right? deer season, yeah. So it was yeah. the end of September, I think, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. So, so I, couldn't, couldn't quite put it all together. No, it was just a lot going on, and uh, <clears throat> everybody's busy and life. And yeah, I had a blown out back, so I had uh, I was dealing with all uh, that stuff too. I was down for a little while yep. during that whole time. That's right. <clears throat> yep. The doctor said it was from uh, dragging out big bucks. So mm, well, that's yeah. I can understand that. Uh, yeah. Hey, I, I was with you <clears throat> one time yeah. when you did that. So. <laughs> And it was cold, and it was a big buck. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, if we go back to then, man. So, uh, me and you actually bow hunted together. Remember yeah. that? On that yeah. new set property. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, didn't do no good. And then I went back on that property and, yeah. and had some action just and didn't do no good. Yeah. But fast forward a little bit, and I think it was muzzleloader season. Yeah. Client gave us... Permission. Mm-hmm. I don't know where you were. At the I time. just had my eyes, oh, yeah, my you, eye surgery. I couldn't see. You couldn't see. Yeah. <laughs> so it worked out really good for me because yeah. you couldn't see. <laughs> yeah. So I got to actually go into that and um, have some success. Yeah, that was, was a good buck. It was a really nice deer. It was actually off of, off a of first year client property. First year client <laughs> property uh, had done some camera stuff in there, and, and yeah. that was the number one. Mm-hmm. And it just oh yeah for sure. It just worked out. It was one of those evenings where. You know, cool front had come through. It had rained, and it mm-hmm. just felt right. Yeah, no, it, it was going to be right for mm-hmm, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just got back from the eye doctor, and I couldn't see. That's right. Cause nada. So when me and uh, my brother loaded it up, brought it to your house, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure you could even see it. Yeah, I could. I was just feeling all the horns. Like, man, I, I, I think, it, felt, I think bra- it feels pretty big. You're reading Braille. Yeah. You? <laughs> so, yeah. I can still, I can still tell the spread and how many points it had. Yeah, my... yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so that's. Um, and then, when did you get your sight back, man? I mean, you were down for a minute. Yeah, it was it was fuzzy for quite a while after that. Yeah, <clears throat> after that eye surgery. So yeah, it was. Mm, yeah, probably three weeks or so before three I could actually so. kind of yeah. get dialed in and see. I used my binos a bunch just to see what deer was Coming walking in. in front of me. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> and so um, that particular hunt that I went on, like I said, on the client property. Yeah, it was just. You know, you, you always talk about the, that feel, mm-hmm. you know, like, man, when you get out there, you just, oh, yeah. it just feels <laughs> right. It feels deary, I always yes, say. It feels deary. Yeah, man. man. So, and that's exactly what happened. That, that deer just, just like you would want him, he read the script. Yeah. And, you know, that very seldom ever happens. Well, you kind of pegged him because you knew he went to bed. Yep. <clears> Put him and, to bed that morning. Yeah. He came in at just, just after daylight. Mm-hmm. Just, it was still d- dusky dark. And, yeah. And uh, knew where he bedded. Yeah, that's thought, that's the key right there, and that's the way it. that property lays out too. We, <clears throat> yeah, we kind of knew it going in. It's like, man, right here would be ideal, mm-hmm. and like, and, and has, it's produced. It's a super peach point, is what yeah. it is. Because really the is. client took one off of it too, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> very nice deer. Yeah, uh, him and his daughter together, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, so that's what you want. Yeah, well, especially a first year food plot deal. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Right location, right setup, and it's. Proven that it works. So. It, it works. And I'm ex- <clears throat> see, so just fast forward a little bit. We're, we did a new client property this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And man, I would love for somebody to oh, I know. have I'm, some success. I'm, I'm supposed to, I've got two connections to that guy <clears throat> and obviously his number two. So he's, he's promising pictures to come. So. Keep us in the loop. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I got to admit though, I'm a little bit nervous about this stinking weather this week. <sighs> yeah, did you see it? They oh, warmed yeah. it up like 10 <clears throat> degrees. I know. And they took, took all the rain out and the temperatures went up to 96 or something. So, so we got, we got, what did we say? Nine acres of plots planted right now. So Is that what it was? Was it eight? Was it eight acres? Yeah, eight right acres, nine that. plots. That's yeah, nine plots, eight acres. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. And the dang 
weather went hot on us here and, and we were, we got a good rain to set the seed. Yeah. Then now we got full sun for yeah, five days. I know. I'm a little nervous about it too. I went Man. to check mine last night and I got radishes popping now finally. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I went around and, and kind of did a survey of what I got here and yeah. everything's popping. Yeah. Mine's starting to fill in. I had some spots cause I drilled mine a week earlier. You did with no rain in the forecast. Like, man, I'm just going to try it and see what happens. And yeah. It, it came up with what I say? Five days. It, it was quick. <clears throat> It was but cool. there was like some bare spots. I'm like, man, I don't know, but it's you can start seeing the fuzz on yeah. it now. So I yeah. think it's going to be legit. I went out and looked, dude. Um, I was kind of shocked. I don't remember this, but I, I'm assuming it's the rye. Yeah. It's like not green. It's like gray looking. Is yours like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. When it first pops up, once it gets up about an <clears throat> yeah, inch yeah. and a half, it'll, it'll turn, turn green. green. Yeah. yeah. I was like, look at this. Yeah. This is all gray. So yeah, yeah, one of my kill plots is that way. I could just see. The ground kind of breaking, and then you get down and look at it. It's like, this is gray-looking stuff. I was like, yeah, that's definitely right. <clears throat> well, something else we're doing right now, uh, of course, we've got a lot of recapping to do, but something we're doing right now is we got a, a competition going. Oh, yeah. Between <clears throat> the drill yeah. versus till. Yeah. Of course, I'm the old-school till guy. I've been doing it for years and years and years, and you got a drill, and it's pretty much changed everything, really, about how we do food plots. But yeah, uh, it's... It, you know, last year was kind of the proving ground. Mm-hmm. This year is the first year we've done it without actually tilling. Like we just went in and drilled. Yes. So <clears throat> yeah. that'll be a true test. This see. is the true test. Yeah. yeah. And so we got cool video kind of showing us going head to head. And yeah. we're, yeah. we're going to show the results of that video and yeah. find out really, you know, okay, with all that's said and done, with what's invested in your no-till drill yep. and what I invest in and what I do. Which one makes a better food pot? Yeah, exactly. So I, it's exciting to see. Yeah, that's cool. It's, it's going to be a cool little, I mean, everybody probably wants to know that if you're thinking about investing in one. Exactly. Like, well, here, is it worth it or ain't worth it? Because I can tell you, it's like, uh, man, this year, not having to, well, I did run tillers on my kill plots, but <clears throat> not having to run a tiller on the big plot and just start drilling, it was no, no, no. very nice. Oh, for sure. Yeah. When you can but, go in, when you can go in there and kill it, mow it, and plant it, yeah, then yeah. that's it. And I'm hoping to get away from the killing side of it as we get more yeah. years of crimping down. But I sent you that picture. It's like, man, the the moisture because I thought the ground would be really really hard, and having all that thatch laying on top of it held so much moisture. It's yep. like, man, I'm have to set this drill. I think I might be drilling too deep. Like it was holding moisture when there was no rain for yeah, what three weeks, A long or something. time, yeah. and hot, <clears throat> yeah. and hot. So, yeah, no, I'm I'm you definitely sold me on that point because yeah. even mine back there, my thatch layer in mm-hmm. spots was really thick. Oh yeah. And dude, it just was like, like it was like black looking almost. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it like held that, that, yeah, hold that moisture sure. in there. It's pretty cool. I mean, we'll see. I'm, I, uh, I, I kind of think I know what the results are going to be, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I, but I'm still challenging you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I took a, I took it in the high line wire and I shot a little video. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you. Um, I just took my zero turn and mowed it down. So it's, no fertilizer, no tilling, no lime, not even killing the grass. And I made like four passes in the high line wire. So I'm kind of anxious to see if it even pops at all. Yeah. Because yeah, the that, ground was pretty hard there. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, had, I saw some seed on the ground. So now this weather coming now, I don't know if it'll ever come up now, but I was hoping we'd have some more rain in the forecast. Oh, I know. No. Yeah. I'm, no, I kind of want to do that as a test though, just to see like what if you just went to a, a brush hog pasture and just drilled in a food plot. What's going to happen? So yeah, yeah. If, if anything, well, you know, I um, I told you about the when we do the the plot screen, you know, with the drill. Yeah. The one section that didn't do well. Yeah. Was the grassy, kind of right wet. Yeah. Right, Competing with all the weeds and it didn't do else, well. Yeah. <clears throat> Everywhere else did great. I mean, we both got really good plot screens. That's something else we did mm-hmm. for the first time. Oh yeah. Yeah, we drilled in the plot screen, which yeah. is really successful. I think that's a good Ooh, recipe. That's legit. Yeah, yeah it well, looks nice, man. Yeah. yeah, and and you know we did that to to get more daylight bucks. That's the whole goal. Yeah, so we basically both did pretty much the same thing on both of our plots. Segmented. We took a big plot and segmented into three separate plots with mm-hmm. cutouts for the bucks to go through. So, yeah, my plot's yeah. an acre, and yours is two acres, mm-hmm. and cut it up in pieces yeah. and uh, set it up where our stand vantage points is good. Yeah, basically got three shooting lanes. <clears throat> yes, yeah. and so there's a there's a whole other and you know who knows I know right now my place is just down I don't have anything here yet. Yeah, but it's early. I mean it's I got a ton a ton of bucks. I mean I, mean, I probably had more bucks now than well maybe maybe that first year we did the project mm-hmm. I had a bunch. You but did. I've, I've got 
I don't have really any quality. I've got one <clears throat> that's a pretty decent buck, but I've got tons of bucks on the property. You got right one now. hunt that you would hunt right now? I'd have to see him on the hoof, but yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's pretty legit. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. You, you're a drop down deer. A little drop down yeah, deer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. I know for sure he's three and a half because I had him at two and a half last year. Uh, he has, but he's put on about 30 inches since then. So makes it hard to pass. He's got split G2s now. So, like, mm, nice. He's a little bit young, but nice. I'd have to make that decision if he stepped out. So, mm. as of right now, that's the deer I'm hunting, and I'll, I'll make a decision when I see him. Well, we had one here uh, <clears throat> for Lexi, and it was a good nine point. Yeah. And he's just gone. Gone. I, already, he left. already shifted. He left it. Mm-hmm. Golly. It's probably been seven, eight days ago. Really? Last time I had a picture. Well, who knows? Because that drop time bug did that to me. He was there like, as soon as we were allowed to feed, he was there. And then he went, he went missing for six days. Did me. he? Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's. And then popped back one morning, like at three o'clock. Well, you know. We kind of we kind of joke about it, but we do all these things to improve our properties, and mm-hmm. you know all the work we put in. It's like I have nothing right now. Yeah. So it's like golly, I'm yeah. deflated what, a little going, bit. What's going on? Yeah. Here? Now the other properties, you know, they're they're doing pretty good. They're all the other properties, the client properties, the other places I get to hunt. They're all yeah. They're all there. There's some bucks yeah. there. Oh no, yeah, I know. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, yeah, the one up on the hills, going to be a good spot too. I think. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And that's sure. uh so you had a food plot in there how many years ago? It's been a minute. <laughs> yeah. But we so we we did that one again this year. Yeah, right there. yeah we brought went, that one back. I, I actually up, doubled it. So I went up and tilled it, extended it over mm-hmm. to kind of where we had talked about, and then you went up and tilled it and planted it. So I mean mm, Yeah. Yeah. Did I, I didn't say did I send you the picture of it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah dude, it's <clears throat> it's rocking green yeah, already. Yeah. But I'm I'm concerned because that's a full sun spot. I know. Ugh. I know. And we yeah. got five days of I mean, 89, 88. Uh, I know. I, look, I looked at it yesterday and I was like, geez, because they were showing a little bit of chance of rain. Yeah. For the hurricane yesterday. didn't get us. Yeah. The hurricane didn't push over enough. Uh, it literally stopped about Little Rock. Did yeah, you see that? Yeah, oh, I did. Man. We could have used it for sure. We oh, yeah. Well, it. the more the better right now. Mm-hmm. It's like, let's keep keep it going. So I'm hoping we have some of those big, heavy, dewy mornings yeah. that we were getting you know, early on that kind of maybe get us through because, you know, Mine came up way earlier than what I wanted it to, but yeah, it survived. Well, yeah, a week well, and a half of ninety plus. You had sprouts out there, and it got to ninety eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was freaking out. Like, <laughs> no, Dude, I know. it's going to just smoke yeah. it out I there. I, was gonna, I figured I was going to redrill. Yeah, but you didn't. I mean, it hung well, there. you know when I I showed you it the other day when we were doing some drone footage stuff, <clears throat> and I had these seven and a half inch rows. You can see the rows. Like, man, I don't know. Why it does that? I overlapped it like crazy. Well, now it's like starting to feel Filling like everything's in. like an inch and a half apart. So Yeah, I, I think. think it's the depth <clears throat> difference. Do you think that's what it is? Maybe. I don't know. Because, uh, yeah. I mean, it was drilled at the same time, so I'm like. Yeah, I mean, is it is it where our track from the tractor is, like, pushes gotta it? Got to be. Yeah, something like that. a little like bit that. lower. It keeps it, yeah. keeps it down a few more days. I, that's so. my guess, anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's year two on it. I mean, we're still learning. But. Well, so I do, I do want to do, we were talking about that before, is like, I want to see what seven and a half inch rows looks like with our trifecta yeah. and see if it fills in because that would save us a lot of drive time uh, if yeah. we didn't overlap for one inch rows. That's <laughs> you know? that's the one thing we can talk about too with the no-till drill is, man, it makes it easy to plant and all yeah. that. But you better, if you want it thick, you better put some time yeah. on the tractor. Well, we say that. I mean, I if, we're, that. if we're supposed to. Yeah. I yeah. want I want to know. Yeah. And I'm just, I couldn't do it. Like I got, I got to, I got to overlap, but I want to try it in seven and a half inch rows and just see if it fills in because you see the guys, well, you know how I do, I watch tons of videos and that's what they do. They, yeah. they do seven and a half inch rows or whatever they're planning. So. Yeah. Well, and you know, we've, <clears throat> we've also walked up on them plots. Matter of fact, on that hunt, uh, that turkey hunt, me and you went on. Yeah. He had planted. Oh yeah. And I was like, mm, this yeah. is kind of sparse in yeah. here. Yeah. You know? And yeah. I was, I was like, well, we don't plant it like that. We no. Our rows are like on top of each other. Yeah, we want you to be able to see it from outer space. Yeah, yeah. And mine last year with the no till for the first time in the back. Yeah. Oh my god, I never, I've never had a plot that thick. Yeah. I have never had a plot that thick. Well, you know, if you get your the seed depth is right, like we talked about with that drill, it's like one good thing about it is, you know, when you go out there with a bag seeder and you bag and you drag, I don't know what would you say, seventy percent of the seed is 
in the ground, you probably got 30 or 40 above. Uh, at least, yeah. With that drill, everything is in the dirt. Yes. And covered up mm-hmm. at the proper depth or around. You know, we had some variation on the stuff we planted. So from one inch to two inch, we've got some room to play there. As yeah. far as like, as long, yeah. as long as we don't go too deep on it. Plot screen is kind of the same way. Like, you know, it's a little more precise. If you put that stuff down too far in the ground, it's not coming up. Right, right. <clears throat> yeah. And that, I, that's what I got into with it. When I got into wet ground, I yeah. think, and, and grass. Yeah, well, you I know, that's what I had all that plot screen at the house, and I like did the side of my road and did a high line wire, and it all came up. Mm-hmm. Like it's, yeah, that's unprepped, un nothing. Just yeah. let me put the, I'm put the deal. I got some Z in there. I'm going to put the drill down to drive. It's like, holy crap. There it is. And at my place, you know, what I do, 16, 16 feet wide, I think is what I ended up doing. <sighs> so that was how many, how many <clears throat> did you go four runs? can't remember. I now. can't either. I, I think say, I, 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 mine's less. Mine's not near as wide as yours. Yeah, I want to say I tilled out like 16 foot rows, like 120 something yards all the way down the, to the bottom end of that thing. So, and you went heavier. We talked about that. Yeah, too. So I fixed the touch on. I was like, I went like a heavier seed rate mm-hmm. and, uh, kind of what my bag said to do. And yours was a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah. And we were, you know, we were talking about me and a little bit afraid that it was going to starve each other out, but, um, yours is a little bit higher. Yep. But my seeds are like right on one, one inch apart, and it's like it's 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 thicker. So what it depends on what you need. Like yeah, if you need height. You well, you you got <clears throat> you've got a wall, which is what yeah, you yeah, wanted for sure. Yeah, that's what I need. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like so. The idea was is you know you put a screen in, and one of your main stands. Yeah. The the to get to that center section, they got to come around the end unless they're going to plow through the middle. Don't don't think they won't because they will. But yeah, for the most part, they'll swing around the end. Right? Yeah, what well, was it, fifteen yards from the stand or whatever. Mm, yeah, it's around eighteen, I think. Yeah, yeah I took the brush log in there and cut out a notch. Oh, you I, did? Yeah. Okay. So okay. and I did it in the middle too for that south wind stand. So yep. I cut out another notch right there. Yeah. So yeah. and I'll be able to see them coming from that corridor. You know, I'm excited for mm-hmm. it, dude, because I, you know I tried it what four three four years ago and had a failure. I mean, it just got flooded yeah. out and I broadcast seeded it. You know, I didn't actually drill it. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, uh, seeing yours. Come about back on the back? No, it was actually out oh, front. Okay. Well, yeah. I remember that one you had back here on the back that one time. I was like, dude, dude, I wonder if we, if we, that was before we even had a drill. I was like, can you imagine drilling this stuff yeah. in? Like, yeah. The perimeter you're talking yeah, about? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 That was my mm-hmm. uh, ragweed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it yeah. flooded out on that whole oh, bottom side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so ragweed, yeah. fertilized ragweed will get, Seven, yeah. eight feet tall. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> I got something like that it going on my place, winter. but it has flowers. I don't know what it is, but it's it's in my switchgrass on That's that. That's your north, pollinator blade. On that northern end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe it is. I tell you what, the red boss do love it when I'm driving Ooh. by that stuff. It's like they're on it, so I don't know what they're doing, but Ugh. they seem to love it for whatever reason. Well, you know how I feel about red boss, but I'm, I'm like a little scared girl every time I see oh, it. Oh, I know. Yeah, I told you that story about me tearing down those sheds for that guy with my tractor, and I pushed the first one over, <laughs> and like 5,000 red boss came out of it, and I never got slung. I think I killed 35 with my hat or oh, something geez. like that. <clears throat> that wouldn't work out for me. I they were chasing stuff. me away, and then I was hooking up the gooseneck like two days later. And uh, yellow jacket nest on the spare tire deal got hit like four times before I realized what was happening. <laughs> mm. You'd have had to visit me in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, you know, they put the hurt on me for yeah. sure. I'm I, was, them hunt. I was sketchy, kept crawling up a dead stand, man. Mm. Crack, I cracked that. Oh, that's what I told you. You better go buy Ooh. one of those bug bombs and just open the door, yeah. chunk it in there like a grenade and run. I was shocked. <laughs> there, there, there was a bunch of dead bodies from last year in there, yeah. but there was no. There was that's good. Bed. Yeah. So I think dad, I haven't talked to him yet. I, th- I think he actually went this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it was, you know, nice and cool. Yeah, 50-something this 50 morning. 50-something, yeah. nice. So I haven't I haven't talked to him, but he's a he's a long hauler. No matter what, he'll he'll stay in there to like yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I don't know if he went. I, no, I, I mean, it obviously pays off. He killed last year too, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that, that, there's a whole other story in that <clears throat> because, yeah. you know, uh, early season for me, yeah, I killed a muzzleloader buck, and then yeah. – it was pretty tough after that as yeah, far yeah, as getting yeah, on anything. Definitely. It was just, and I know you had a long season. Yeah, um, you're talking to a guy that hunted until January and shot over the back of my <sighs> target buck. So. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I helped you look for that. Yeah, yeah. We were hoping. Uh, yeah, yeah. Comes back the next day missing a horn. Like, hmm. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I think we're done. Yep. That's yeah. a wrap. Yeah. So, you know, for him to have success, you know, and he went through a health <clears throat> problem and mm-hmm, a big yeah. scare for us. Yeah, and, yeah. And for him to kill a deer, I was like, dude, I'm done. I don't even, yeah. my season's made, yeah. you know? So yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was a, 
that's another whole thing we could get into yep. that, that hunt. Y'all got your mounts back on the same day. Got yeah. their mounts back. And, <clears throat> uh, Super cool. Yeah. This guy right here. Yeah. Shout, shout out to shout out to Brad Byers. Brad Byers. He did a great job. Uh, and uh, we picked them up and they're proudly displayed. Yeah. Matter of fact, when you came in, I was like, Chris, look, you got to see this. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool but uh a lot of stuff happened man i mean that you know we've been we've been away for a while and we got tons of stuff to talk about oh yeah yeah that part's going to be easy i mean that's and, and it's like all right pick your topic where do you want to start yeah do you want to start because we had a really cool successful spring turkey hunt yeah yeah you yeah. know a little beak busting tour yep yep you put that thing together and <clears throat> yeah we met a really cool go- guy up there, and yeah, I knew some great like, properties. I knew you'd like him, yeah, yeah. We had that was a that was a fun trip. He actually called me a week and a half ago. He killed a velvet buck, and they were, remember him talking about that Kentucky oh. property he was going to manage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I told him, I was like, "Hey, if you get that," and then when he called me on, I was like, "Man, we got a velvet season here. Don't even worry about it." But anyway, he said he's got that property in Kentucky now that he's taking care of. He killed a pretty nice velvet buck off of it. Sent me a video of a whole bunch of gobblers running underneath his stand. So we may even be we may be going to Kentucky, on Kentucky, trying mm-hmm. to kill Kentucky turkey. I never done that before. So. How far is Kentucky? It's a long ways, right? I don't know. Not long enough. It's <laughs> it's like what we almost <laughs> we, drove eight hours we to can get make to him. It. So yeah, we can do it. <clears throat> yeah, uh, that was that was a fun trip. I had blast on that. It one. was man. It yeah. was a. It's a cool. It's a cool area. He's a cool dude because he does basically our dream job he manages properties puts in yeah. food plots for people hangs stands for people and like yeah. does it for a living and it's like mm. sells deer stands yeah that's pretty cool that's pretty another cool project job. talk there oh yeah yeah I forgot so about that we were on that turkey hunt and we see these really cool <clears throat> 360 blinds yeah go out there walk around like dude these would be cool to have mm-hmm. and then uh chris is like i'm getting one <laughs> yeah i'm gonna get one for a south wind setup but yeah no it's it's pretty legit I haven't hunted out of it yet obviously but uh what we do that in six six hours something yeah, like that six installed hours. in yep. the in the woods installed mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you got in a good spot and you got a water yeah. hole on it yeah I added the water hole to it nice. so that yeah. gives me I got four yeah one two three three four four water holes so I got four water holes which is really too many but I couldn't resist right there yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah I gotta, I gotta put one and it's tracked up like crazy yep. so yeah if you haven't seen those blinds those are cool man because yeah. it's, it's a 360 and you put bow windows where they needed to be gun yeah. windows where they needed to be well they're interchangeable so you can put your windows wherever you want yeah. to so and they're, yep. they're tinted and you know everything else like i said i you know we built the deer mansion built years and it's like they're way better than the 360 blind as far as like you know you can customize them they're insulated and yeah. all that stuff but mm-hmm. this one's kind of like it was quick and easy. You don't have three weeks in it. You got mm-hmm. six hours in it, and yep. uh, you can throw it up and be done. So the, the hardest part was putting the roof on. That was that was yeah. that's more than a two man job. And yeah. we did it. Well, it says as soon as you open a book, it's like have three to four people. Yeah, and I'm out there unboxing. My wife's like, "What are you doing?" It's like I'm being three or four people. <laughs> <laughs> we started we started up that ladder with that roof, and I'm like, Ooh. "Dude, are you pushing? <laughs> because yeah. I'm about to die." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you were. I looked at your face, and I'm like, yeah. "Oh my gosh, this is heavy." Yeah, we barely did. We barely did that job. <laughs> yeah. that roof's legit no it's that roof's not going anywhere mm-hmm. brother <laughs> yeah. no it's it's solid and then and they're they're well built i mean not as well built as what we built them yeah but i mean it was, i it, think it'll stand it the test of time because the roof's your main thing and nothing else is you yeah know, everything else is you know caulked in between the seams and Air screwed tight. together mm-hmm. and, uh, and they give you the carpet kit with it and uh, yep. i got a i added a couple shelves and i added some clear windows so i got clear and tinted so i can film at a yep Yep. Out of some of them, and and you know, be hidden with the tent. And, and the the platform was really nice, really heavy. Yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah. I really the ladder going up mm-hmm. is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was legit, legit <laughs> deal. And yeah. it, it, I will say, you know, the ones we built, it probably beats the, their ladder beats our ladder by a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were pretty rudimentary on our ladder. Well, you know, the thing about that is, is trying to find the angle. Uh, you know, exactly. it's like was, we were I was, guessing. I was telling you about mine. I'm to, when I get too much older, I'm about to convert mine to a rear door because my my ladder angle is wrong. <laughs> so my shooting benches I built, I have to hang from those and drop down to my yeah, which could be kind of sketchy. Yeah, so. it's a little little sketchy. Getting in's no problem, but like getting out, you can't reach the first rung because I my. Uh, Geometry was off mm-hmm. when I yeah. did my when mm-hmm. did my ladder. So mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah. they'll be there for a hundred years. Oh my gosh, yeah. That. yeah, yeah, for they're, years they're, to come. Yeah, they're never going anywhere. So. No, I'm, and, and I think to be honest, I think we both figured out that we really love the land management, uh, 
improvement side of hunting mm. as much as hunting. Yeah. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we have, we've got to the point now where it's nope, like, it's dude, true. what are we doing? What are yeah. we doing this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> Let's build something. Yeah. Or, <laughs> no, that's 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 no joke. My wife's like, "What are you doing now?" It's like, "Well, I'm gonna go on the south side. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some trimming over here, which I still need to do that in the deer mansion. I gotta get in there and trim a couple blinds or a couple limbs off that blind too. I need to do that. Oh, the you got one of them little the extended saws, like yeah, I little, used that the other day because uh, you know oh, I, the little mowa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The the handheld yeah, one, yeah, you know, the, the and, limb saw. Yeah, and you like you can hang the thing over it and just clip a limb. Mm-hmm. That's what I did. It works great. Oh yeah, I went in there on that set on dad spot and yeah. put a, that climber in there Yeah, and dude, it's perfect. You know, and it's a Northwest setup, mm-hmm. which I could go there this evening. I probably won't. Yeah. But I don't, <laughs> need, I don't need the temptation of yeah. three year olds. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> and not, not this early, yeah. but, uh, you know, I could hang over that limb and just pull and, and so yeah. I cut out. So, you know what tree I was talking about? Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it was too big around to put my stand on. Mm, yeah, yeah. So I've got three sticks and then I got my stand on and I climb the rest of the way. Oh, okay. And dude, I, I am just crested above whatever kind of tree that is. It's got all the sapling layers yeah, on it. Yeah. And it's just, you know, so I cut a little hole here and a little mm-hmm. hole here. Yeah. It'll be a chipper. Shooting if, from the back side of the tree. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me. I'm yeah. paranoid about that stuff. Yeah. And like I told you, I listened to that other podcast and the guy's like, they can see your eyes. If they see your eyes, it's over. And it's like, yeah, I know that's true. Yeah, I've I've had that. It's I like, can't hardly look at a deer if it's, if it's a good one. It's like I can't hardly look. I yeah. can't look at it anyway. It's like well, so I got. I don't have that problem because I can't look at them. I'm like oh, I can't do well, it. <laughs> it's wise not to look at your what was he a 17 point or whatever he was yeah. when you killed your yeah. big one. Yeah, because I remember when you saying that he came out and I'm like looking away, looking. Yeah, away. I can't look at him, dude. It's like I cannot look at this deer. He's all bucked up, walking in sideways, and he's mad. And I was like, I can't, I can't watch okay. this. I'm like uh, I'm flipping out, dude. So uh, I start talking. I start talking to myself though. Oh yeah. Calling myself all kinds of names. Yeah, come on, you idiot. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah, you keep it together up. right now. <laughs> but no, we were, um, you know, we were talking about you're listening to that podcast and uh, with that guy on there about how your face sticks out, mm-hmm. you know, glows. And yep. so I can't hardly stand to wear a face mask. And like when the boy was young, he always wanted to paint his face. Right. So every time we and him went, I always painted my face. Like, I may go back to face painting again. So you're going predator early, right? Maybe, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, I can't stand wearing a mask over my over my face. Like it's, yeah, I, uh, I'm the same way. And yeah. Unless it's super cold. Even then, I don't like it, but you kind of have to. You well, know? you know, and that's kind of, because I've been busted. Everybody's been busted. <clears throat> sure. if, you, if you hunt, and especially if you hunt in the same stand, yeah, and, and you're yeah. on the side of a tree, it's yeah. really tough. Not And so... That's why, and I'm kind of weird, but that's why I hunt backwards. Yeah. And, and most guys are like, what are you doing? It's like, I yeah. hunt the back side of the tree. Mm-hmm. So when I'm standing up, my whole body is behind the tree. Yeah. And like, I can lean left or right mm-hmm. and take the shot. Yeah. And that's, and is there's some, you lose comfort and yeah, yeah. some stuff to that. But man, especially big bucks, mature ones. I'm like, I'm hiding. Yeah. I, I'm camoed and covered. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm like you, I've got one of those, um, it's not really a face mask, but it's one of those things you wear around your neck that's like yeah. super, super thin. Yeah, neck gaiter type. Yeah, it, well, it's not warm. It's just super yeah. thin. And you that's can what ju- I, that's I pull what it up I, to my nose. Yeah. Just because I'm like you, if it's away from my face, it's like yeah. screwing up my, mm-hmm. whatever yeah. you want to call it, peripherals or yeah. whatever. So I'm kind of that way. I've got some, I've got a camouflage one and black one if I'm hunting inside the blind and, as, you know, keep them up there. But it's like, I'm not a huge fan, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same way. So you're oh. gonna be you're gonna be painted up. Uh, maybe, man. I'm the contemplating it. Like, might as, might as well. The, the hardest part about that is just getting it off. Whenever me and him would go, it's like you, or if you want to go eat breakfast somewhere after you get done with your hunt, like, yeah, hey, <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what have you been doing? Then? Yeah. So uh, something I was thinking about too the other day. I think between the two of us, we need to figure out. Of course, we've already got. So let me back up a little bit. We got permission. To bow hunt a client's property. Yep. <clears throat> of course, you know, in in getting that permission, we do all of the work. Yep. Plan all the food plots, take care of, you know. We, yeah, we, convert, we converted that one over to no-till this yep, year. Yeah, we went to no-till on that one. Yep. And uh, that is where I killed last year. Yeah. Well, uh, so that's coming up for us. Mm-hmm. As soon as we can get the right wind. Yeah, get a wind change. And then yeah. We would have probably been in there this weekend had we... Yeah, you it's know, a south wind setup. So yeah, yeah, it's kind of early season, kind of what you normally plan yeah. for. You don't really plan for northwest. And yeah, this on, early on the opener. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we've got that, and what what I was going to say is, is I think that 
if we both, either one of us get a lockdown situation in one of our good stands, mm-hmm. I need a film. Yeah. The other. Just, oh, yeah. just to, because we haven't got to do that yet. Yeah, I know. We've talked about it several times. Yeah, we, like we, we usually sh- both get on something. We're going. Yeah, so ways. both of us are chasing something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so uh, I want to try to pull that off. So yeah. it's going to be like, all right, Cody, I got, you know, so-and-so yeah. buck. He's here. He's daylight. And that's like, I'm, I'm filming. Well, that's like when you asked me about that spot over there. It's like, well, if I'm over here, do you think you can self-film it? And I was like, well, my track record's not real good. <laughs> I think I filmed. I got. I actually got one good buck, and he was probably mid one sixties. He's and, good there, yeah. And uh, he didn't die, so I was like, "Well, mm. that footage is worthless." But yeah. now I can film other people. I've got a lot of the boys' hunts on, yeah, yeah, on video. But yeah. um, when it comes to myself, like I kind of suck at it. Yeah, it's it's not easy either, man. It's Which like, when I killed that big one last year, it was like all right, seven minutes for shooting light over. I'm gonna. I shut my camera down and mm-hmm. get it kind of put away. So that was, I probably could have filmed that one Yeah. after I calmed myself down. <laughs> after you quit looking at him. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't <laughs> look at him any longer. Well, you know, that's uh for us in Arkansas, that's, that's a world-class deer for us. Yeah. You no, know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. 176. Is that what he ended up? Official at the Big Buck Classic 176. We had him at 178 and some change, yeah. but yeah. that was green. So that, yeah, that was green. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what a deer, man. I mean, that's... Oh, I know. I, love, I still love the good And all you got to do is do that every year. Yeah. So it's no problem, right? Well, you saw what I did last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Waited, hunted till January, then shot over the back of the... And he was... Honestly, he was like third on my hit list. The other bucks kind of like bailed on me. So... Yeah. yeah it was rough for me last year. It was, it was rough, it rough was, season. Yeah, but tough season, yeah. I passed a lot of deer. I probably... I, I could have shot, maybe should have shot you, in, well, in yeah. hindsight, but yeah. I was... You know how it goes. Like sure. I'm, I'm hunting the biggest deer on the property. That's mm-hmm. what I'm going to hunt. I'm passing everything else. Oh, dude, early you had a giant. Yeah. You had a giant. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I'd have got my hands on that dude for a mainframe eight. Like, geez. he was huge. Yeah, like, yeah. See how big an eight can actually score? I know, man. I he mean, honestly, that deer probably would have gone fifty. I'm I sure, think. dude. Yeah. And, and he's an eight. Yeah. I mean, that tells you how big he was. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've really got my big. biggest eight in there, and he's got two kickers. Yeah. And he's he's one forty four. Yeah. And this deer was a lot bigger than that. Yo, yeah. He well, was. I got that nine that on my wall. He's barely a nine. And what do we measure him at? One forty two or something like that. Yeah. 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 Something yeah. like that. So yeah, this deer would have been probably mid fifties, I bet. His G twos were like He was freakish, man. I remember you send me them pictures, cool, dude. <laughs> and you you're like, dude, six minutes after dark. I know. He yeah. just was right well, there. I missed out on deer camp last year because oh, he know. was like three minutes after dark, two mm-hmm. minutes after two minutes after shooting light and like yeah. and I'm like I I'm not even like to the house yet. He's already I know on that scrape. Like, so he was right there. Uh, yeah. So, and that's the you know, but that's the thing too, is like you start chasing one mm-hmm. and it just eats your lunch. Oh man. yeah. Well and, that, and that's tough. That's you know, tough. I'm kinda interested to see if that scenario plays out this year. And yeah. you know he has he was on the edge of that woodline just staring in. Sure. So now, now we you're got, segmented. Now, now I'm segmented. Mm-hmm. What happens now, now if I he, get a if I get a deer like that? He arches around the end of that mm, plot screen. Yeah. and gets an error. Yeah, I can't look at him. <laughs> <laughs> look away. Just look away. Well, I, I think um, I'm excited about the season. Obviously, oh, yeah, for we sure. always are, and yeah. we put in a ton of work. Like we always do. Man, I think I was telling my wife. I was like, I think this was the toughest food plot season. It was rough. I mean, I loved it, but it was like, I felt like it was something. I mean, you know, even after that, I came back on my place. Like, man, I need, I need to get my mock scrapes and my med sag. Yep. I need to, I need, I trimmed a bunch of those up, did that stuff. Um, still got to trim some limbs. Uh, still a ton of work I had to do even after that. I was like, man, I know. We, we put in some, we were on some properties this year yeah, and yeah. put in some miles and. Yeah, <clears throat> for sure. And, you know, it, it just bounces around in my head. It's like, if you're not improving your property, what are you yeah. doing? I know, right? I mean, I mean, yeah. I get it. I get it. Guys work all the time and don't yeah, have yeah, time. Yeah. I get that part of it. But man, if you got time, it's like, yeah. And it's so rewarding. Oh, yeah. Even, I mean, yeah, we want to kill big bucks. That's what our goal is. But sure. it's like, dude, it's so cool to see it growing and well, I'm bucks 100%. to use your layout. Yeah. And, you know, just whatever. I'm 100% with you as far as like loving the the land management side of yeah. it. I'm trying to just come up with new ideas. And yeah, we, you know, we do, we try something different every single every year, year. The segmentation, sure. uh, you know, whatever it is, we're going to try something a little bit different, but, and you can tell, so the boy's been gone for seven months and he surprised us last night and came in. Right. And uh, I took him for a golf cart ride around the property. I mean, he was like, I mean, 
there is not hardly anywhere you look, there's not a rub on a tree. I mean, they, they sure. just rubbed it up. I went around and kind of showed him from a distance all the scrapes that are on it. And he's like, and he was talking about how thicker, how much thicker it is. Yeah. You know, since, Our goal. Yeah. Just some of the stuff that I try to do a little bit every mm-hmm. year, which last year I missed out. I was going to do a lot more cutting last year, but I hunted until January. So I was like, I can't, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Right. You know, as far as that goes. But this year I used plot screen. The little road that splits my property, the what we call the house plot, I plot screen that with the switchgrass layer behind it. So it's just constantly getting thicker. My old food plot, the switchgrass oh, is switch. six feet tall, yes. deer bed and all in that thing. So yep. um, so yep. he was talking about, man, you can definitely tell they're using this place. There's rubs and scrapes everywhere and like uh-huh. it's thick in here. And like, yep. And yep. Yep. Better every year. Well, so. that's that's the goal, right? I mean, yeah. me and you are like, you immediately go to what, okay, what can I do to improve? Yeah. I don't care if it's five minutes into the season, which it is. Oh, started today, yeah, yeah. by oh, the way. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh man, next year. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm I know. Do this. Yeah, I know. Well, I was telling you about that little, you know, I was lucky enough to finally buy that five acres that was keeping yeah. me from accessing down that deal and get rid of those neighbors and, uh, you know, all the scents. So I'm wondering what changes there. It's like, oh, man, what if I did like a little teardrop, you know, food plot back there because I can access it from the right. road now? Like, I don't know. I know. There's quite a bit of land back there, and I think I need to do something. I need to thicken it up or add a kill plot or something back there. We, because, you know, yeah. we rode through there the other day, and I didn't realize you had like a pine thicket. You mm-hmm. got, dude, you got like a pine thicket. Oh, back yeah. There. Yeah. Well, that looks pretty cool. They kill them every year. I mean, there'll be two or three trees, and they're just shredded oh, every yeah, year you know. right there. Yeah, you know. Well, so. so that, if you're driving through there, like going back towards the house, you see that pine thicket, that corridor is right on the other side of that that leads to that water hole back there. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen lots of action. Well, I mean, in between those two, that it's just so thick in there. Like, yeah, and you now you got rid of, like you said, get rid of that property. Mm-hmm. Yeah, problem, problem. Yeah, I should yeah. Say. yeah, there was, yeah, it was a bad situation. There was a lot of people living in one place, real noisy. Had dogs and goats and a lot of garbage. So, and- oh, a lot of garbage. So a lot of scent. So yeah, it took a. I don't know. I sold everything they had. All the cars and trucks and motorhomes and double wides <laughs> and like it's all gone. I just keep it brush off. Haul it off. Come I got I got access to the all the way to the south of my property now, so that it's works nice. out really good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, that who knows? Yeah. I mean, that may totally change the buck movement. It could. You know that that big the, that big one seventy I was hunting what four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. He came from that direction, and that place was vacant that year. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. So That's, there's another. You know, who knows? Yeah. It's kind of one of them deals. You oh, know? I know. Yeah. Who, who knows? I'm kind of anxious to see. I'm anxious to see the plot screen, the segmentation, see how it works for us. It's got to help, dude. It's got to. I mean, it's yeah. got to. And like we talked about, the way you planted <clears throat> yours, I will do next year, obviously. Yeah. You know, you're primarily five to six feet, probably, maybe a little taller. Yeah, there's some in there that are probably 10 feet tall, but yeah. it just depends on. But, yeah. I mean, like your mega thickness yeah, yeah. is yeah. like that perfect height. Mm-hmm. And so next year I will definitely go yeah. thicker because yeah. I got 12 foot stuff out there in yeah. places that's pretty thin. Yeah. You know? Well, you know, I talked about like, man, if this the segmentation works this year, I'm going to, I'm going to make those switchgrass rows, but now I don't think I'm going to, I yeah. think I'm going to leave it because switchgrass, we know, I love it. It's great, but I'm on year three and I've got some that's, I got some that's six feet tall, but that's just the stem. Yeah. Yeah. What you can actually not see through is probably 38, 40 inches. So yeah. Yeah. I probably just keep doing the plot screen you know, I, because it's well, you it's know, I've legit. been doing it, but we need to get we need to look into the mm-hmm. micronutrients yeah, yeah, side yeah. of it because I have really yeah. depleted that. Yeah, and you know when I first started plot screening, dude, it was huge and thick and like yeah. the stalks were massive. Right, and then it steadily started to decline. Yeah, well, come to find out, it's robbing the ground of yeah. Micronutrients. You know, and I read that, but I don't I don't remember what it was now. But yeah, yeah we definitely need to do that. We will definitely look we'll into go that. in there and brush hog that out, rake it out, and then. Uh, gosh, I don't know. We may be able to drill right into the stocks. I don't know if we have to, yeah, till, it, have to no. till it up again or not. Yeah, nah, probably drill, not. Not I'll with a drill. drill. Yeah. Or just drill it in right get, into the stocks. Get, and done with, get the major debris out of there. and Yeah. So we'd put that rake on there and rake it all up. And I'm going to go right heavier there. and I'll probably <clears> go a little bit wider than I did. Yeah. And I, you know, of course, by then, after I see how this season goes and how the deer react to it, yeah. I may move it or, you know. Oh, yeah. That's, like you said, we're going to change. Yeah. We're going to be pushing the envelope all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the fun part of that. I like trying something different. Yeah. yeah. If it's in the food plot or if it's on the, you know, segmentation yeah. or stand location. I mean, something. Yeah. I want to try something different. For sure. And, you know, it's kind of for me, it's kind of, I mean, I, 
honestly, I was shocked at the, the amount of deer I didn't have last year, Yeah, you know, on this place. And I think it's a progression. Uh, a lot of pressure around me now, yeah. a lot of open around me now yeah. that didn't used to be, Yeah. um, you know, it's just part of it, but I want to, you know, I'm like, we're both the same in that we want to maximize our chances. Yeah. You know, whatever we got to do well, to make even, it the best. Even with the pressure and all that stuff, you know I mean? It's only a matter of time. Sure. Before. I mean, you still got quite a bit of wood oh, yeah, sitting yeah, back yeah. there that you can draw from. And like, it's kind of like my place, right? It's <clears> like <throat> once a year, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, there's going to, I'm going to have one stud in there. For sure. For every sure. single year. But, you know, hopefully this year it happens earlier because I'm, right now I've got, like I said, more bucks, I think, than I've ever had right. qu- quality, quantity wise. But, your last, megas, your megas hadn't showed up yet. Last couple of years, it's been like, man, I don't know. I got a bunch of does and this little dinker here with one horn, and then you know, December rolls around, like boom, now I'm got a whole bunch of bucks. Like, it's yeah, you're weird. a late season deal yeah. anyway. It's just kind of weird, I, you know. Yeah, we've talked about how vast mm-hmm. it is behind you. Yeah, yeah. You got a mountain, literally. Yeah, yeah. and thousands and thousands. Yeah, and it's like you, it's so yeah. hard to pinpoint a deer. Yeah, for sure. You know, from year to year. Yeah, and, and you know, you know, they don't die. No, not all of them. Yeah. You know, and so it's like, where where do they go, man? Because, I mean, this is the promised land. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at what I've done down here oh, for you I guys. Oh, I know, yeah. You know, yeah. and it's like, well, I think once you get them there, yeah. you're golden, but it's getting them there. Well, it's kind of like the drop time buck. Like, he was one of the first deer I had on camera once we were yeah. able to feed. It's like, boom, he's back. Like, But he would, you know, that dude, day, he day lighted at two and a half last year. Over a hundred times. Like mm-hmm. he wasn't always walking around the daylight. So yeah. he's three and a half now. He has not daylighted yet. But Isn't that weird? It's cool for him to come right back. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's a deer you retained that yeah, you know you sure. retained. Yeah. Well, it was your first year, dude. When we first started all the project, you had so many bucks, dude. Oh, were studs. And it's like, dude, next year is going to be. And yeah. that was not the case. Yeah, it wasn't the case. Isn't even that, though, even though the land got better. Yeah. The hunting got worse. So. Yeah, it was just bizarre. I don't yeah, know. They're wild animals. I mean, exactly. Because, yeah, you know, we we always ask that question what changed? Well, really, nothing. Yeah. Well, it improved. Yeah. The changes I mean, were like yeah. beneficial yeah. for it the got, years. It got thicker. It's yeah. like you talked about. Mm-hmm. I mean, like now you got, you know, uh, you went in and cleared timber uh-huh. and made you get this massive thicket inside that yeah. wasn't there. Yeah, and yeah. now you've got switch press <clears throat> pockets mm-hmm. and you got perimeter screening yeah. and, you know, all that's improvement. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And so you think, oh man, it's just, I'm going to yeah. have to like pick one. There's going to be 19 yeah. of them in yeah. here and it may or may not work like that. It's no. just crazy. So I got, my hopes are kind of high because we started, I started getting bucks way earlier. Like year one, yes. I had bucks early. Yep. And then I did, you know, that, that big buck I killed, he was a returner from the year the that's previous right. year. That, yeah. So yeah that's, that is true. You did have yeah. a returner there. Yeah. yeah. Cause you had had him the year before. Yep. Several times. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. many times. Actually. Which oddly enough, that buck, he would, he would, miss almost every one of my cameras and show up not on a corn, not on supplemental feed. Well, it, supplemental feed, I guess, but it was the big and J block. Really? Yeah. Which is weird. He wouldn't, didn't really prefer corn. He went to that big and J block and you get one or two pictures of him and then you wouldn't see him for three days. So I just, you know, and I've got a whole theory on that. I've just, and it's a theory cause I yeah. don't know. And it's like, you know, in Arkansas, you can bait yeah. certain, ter- certain times and <clears throat> everybody does. Oh Yeah. Legal and illegal. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. There's tons of the illegal side of stuff. Oh, for sure. But it's like, what's the difference on why they show up and they don't? Because, you know, I'm like you. I'm like, I'm thinking, all right, well, I don't want to put corn out because everybody puts corn out. Yeah. You know, I want to do something different or I want to add something to corn or whatever. And so it's like, like I said, I got a big and day block or or what would that, that mega you had three, four years ago, he was on some kind of block too, wasn't he? That was a big and J. Yeah. That was a big and J block. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you're, I, I remember that picture you sent me because yeah. there's the block and yeah. he's a joy. Yeah. And it's like, oh my gosh, man, what's the deal? And it's like, oh no, he's coming to that block, dude. Yeah. On and the like, south, very south side of the he property. Pay he no would, attention he to anything never, else. He would never come up. And that's why I get when he popped in on me that year, I killed him. I was like, what in the world is he doing up here? He would never come up there. That's crazy. Yeah. So it was, he just decided that day, which I mean, what was it? Negative 13 or something. Crazy. Yeah. Late, late he, in the year too. It was, yeah, what was December, December 23rd. 23rd. Yeah. And December. it was, yeah, it was so cold. Yeah. 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 I remember walking out to the stand and like, I had a beard at the time and it was like, I got in there and I was like, well, why was my beard all wet? It was like ice was melting mm-hmm. around my breath. Every time like, you breathe. how cold it was. Yeah. yeah. So that's the cool thing to me, man. It's like these bucks whip us. Mm. 
And yeah. we do tons and tons and tons of work to make it better. And it is. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. And I think we put ourselves in the best situation, but buck them big bucks still whip our butts. Yeah. And well, you get an old mature buck. I mean He's just tough. They're old mature for a He's reason. And you know, yeah. we can we can think we're as good as hunters as mm-hmm. we want to be. It don't matter. They'll like, humble you in yeah. seconds, yeah. buddy. Yeah. You do. I mean, I don't know what I think. I think I put sixty something hours on my tractor this food oh, plot gosh. season. Yeah. So you got that time, then you got, you know, going out and doing all my other stuff. Mm-hmm. And then Lots you got the hunt time and then all that for, you know, what, ten seconds, yeah. fifteen seconds. Chance. Maybe. Just a chance. Yeah. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of crazy when you put it in that perspective. It really right? is. Like, it really is. I seen your wife made a post about uh our habit, our hobby should only cost two hundred twenty five dollars or something like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, she posted get, that. I'll have to get on about that. Yeah, <laughs> well, our hobby for today, well, uh, you mean, the, or what? The, you the, the, the co op guy busts me out all the time about <laughs> you know buying pallets of corn. He's like, uh, saw your husband today for what? Like, yeah, like Jim, quit. You know, quit what talking you about. What are you doing? <laughs> you Come on, selling me out, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, she really doesn't care. We're we're pretty blessed in that aspect. But yeah, yeah, both of us for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put up with all of it. So we are in the new podcast studio. Yep. And this is a uh, work in progress. Yeah. Matter of fact, we put it together today. Yep. <laughs> uh, about 40 minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and me and him both have been really wanting to get back to this. Yeah. I mean, we we just I miss enjoy it. it. Dude. I yeah. miss it. Yeah. We just enjoy it and um, you've already got some people lined up. Yeah. Um, we're going to get to talk to your boy. Yep. Which boy's, is cool. Boy's coming in. He's here for, I don't know, about a week, I guess. So, uh, we'll get him in and see what he's been up to in okay. California and maybe talk about some of his hunts or something. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be really interesting to see his take on yeah. how tough dad is on him. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He won't, he won't whine about that much no. on camera, I don't think. No, no, no. Yeah. He's, he's tough. He's tough. <laughs> Missouri hunt. We definitely need to talk about the Missouri yeah. hunt where he had all the success. Oh, and- yeah, for sure. I ran him by. So when I got rid of the old food plot, the uh, it was like, man, I don't know where I got the thing at, but it was like a $70 two-man stand. Ladder, yeah. Ladder, ladder. stand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's about as big as your pinky. Like, I don't know how it held us both up. <laughs> I left it in the tree like I'm not taking that down. Yeah, sentimental. He, he sure. killed he killed some deer from there. So I rode him out there last night. I was like, there's your stand. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, yep. Yep. you know, so many memories and uh that came out of that that stand. And then we had a blind over in the corner that we hunted out of. I mean, he killed a couple turkeys in there, killed some deer in there. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's like pretty cool. So I'm leaving the stands. Like, I'll be dead and gone. You can come out here and look at this thing. Yeah, and be like, I killed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It may be like three foot off the ground yeah. as a tree grows, but it's, it ain't coming it's out. lifting of it, it up. Yeah. I'd get, I'd go in there like every year before, you know, he, he hunted with me in there a lot. So I would just add another ratchet strap. So I think there was like four ratchet straps on top and four on the bottom. So it's probably never coming down. No, no, in no the it's, tree. Per, it's permanent. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to be there. That's fun. That's fun too. Cause you can look at your place now and see all the improvements. Yeah. It's and think about, Oh man, we were hunting with this little food plot with a ladder stand. And, yeah. And, and we had success. Yeah. You know, I killed the uh, Elvis over that thing. And I don't, I don't think I ever scored that deer, but he was a cool buck. See, I, I got mean, to come, I, I yeah, got to come yeah. drag that out with you. Yeah. You that yeah, one? yeah. yeah. Cause you're like, dude, I yeah. got him. I'm pretty yeah. sure I got him. And yeah. it's like, I said, I'm on my way. Yeah. Coming. That was a all day set that day. Was because, that? Yeah, okay. It was yeah. a cold front. And it was another one of those deals had a hub scrape in that Southwest corner over there. And it's like, you just hear a little limb crack. I'm like, all right, let's mm-hmm. get ready here. Mm-hmm. Like, he went over there and started rolling on a tree, and I, I finally got him. That was another one I chased all season. That's a really good deer, too. Yeah, it really cool. Yeah, it's a cool. He's, he's it's cool. a cool buck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's really and cool. you know, like once you get like one or two daylight pictures, like right, I'm going. It's in. time. That, you it's know, time. That place was set up totally wrong, but you know, in in my defense, my early years, like. I want to do a food plot. I might as well do it right here. It's kind of clear already. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. boom, it's right in the middle of the property. No access. Like. Yeah. yeah. We'll think about that later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't even, I didn't, didn't even think about it. I was like, yeah. well, this is going to be the less, least yeah. amount of work. I don't have to have a dozer. I can get this thing and right. c- cut out the trees and grind a couple stumps. And now we got a, now we got a little food plot. But, but I mean, we killed out. You, you had some success yeah. there. So, yeah. hey, I mean, it's, I guess you yeah. can say it was successful. Well, then. that, that one, I, that, the best footage I had, that deer, probably 155, 160 inch deer, shot him right there mm-hmm. yep. on a south wind in like, like 15 November. steps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was right there. Oh, yeah. It was really good footage. Yeah, it was. You Just know, I came back from no Missouri recovery. on a week-long bow hunt, 
and did not shoot my bow when I got back home and I bumped my sights and I was shooting six high, six right. Oh, and uh, so I was like, I'll never do that again. Like shoot my bow in at the beginning of the year, obviously in practice. But if I go on a trip like that, like bring it back and shoot it again, because you, you know, you're walking in the dark, coming out in the dark, lowering your bow down. I bumped the sight somewhere and cost me a good, good deer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So pro tip. Yep. Pro tip, check, check your check equipment. If, if you spend a week in the woods, uh, shoot your bow. I shoot it regularly. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Because well, we come back on like a sun Saturday, and then I was that next, I got up that Sunday morning and hunted all day long. So, I mean, I kind of didn't even unpack. I just grabbed my bow, put my camo on, and went hunting. So, and, yep. And yep. that dude, that joker stepped out and no man landing, stood there for 30 minutes just looking into that food plot. And he finally took a step out and, you know, like he's dead and he went out there and started blowing at me and I went out and found you know half my arrow and then he comes back like two days later so like, yeah. he took that off you I think that was might have been me and my wife's very first date actually really and I was like I was sick because like oh I'm like I gotta wait I gotta wait till tomorrow you know trying yeah. to find this guy he blew at me so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and then I wake up that night after we went on, went on our date and uh it was pouring down rain oh no Blood trail guy. Uh, well, now we got problems. Mm. Which luckily he came back alive. Never saw him after that, though. He came back that next year, came back again, but uh, never, never had a daylight picture, which back then I was running one camera. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could have been daylight all over the place. You wasn't canvassed. No, I was not. <laughs> like you are now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I've got a last year's similar story with Luke. I took. Luke, oh yeah, Luke's like, hey man, I'm, I want to go hunting, and I said, all right, I got a spot. It's the new stand that, that I had just built. Oh yeah, and uh, it's like good buck coming in there. Actually, there's a couple good bucks coming in there, and I said, you know, they're regular. So, yeah. and I stayed out, and Lexi stayed out, and sure enough, he goes in there, and he's like, I haven't shot the crossbow, or I haven't shot the compound. I'm gonna take the crossbow. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I grabbed Lexi's crossbow, so he got and climbs in there, and it's kind of funny because he he's texting me. In a panic. And you can tell if you've ever texted somebody in a panic. Yeah. He's texting me, I can't get the safety off. And I was like, what? He's like, I said, push it forward. That's all you got to do is push yeah. it forward. And he's like, it won't push forward. It's stuck. It's stuck. He's right here. He's right here. You know, and he's freaking out. <laughs> and uh, some, a minute or so goes by and I get the text. I just missed him. Wow. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I just shot over his back. I was like, no way. He, and I was like, I said, how far was he? He's ah, he was thirty something yards. I said, you know, number two pin, dude. Yeah, that's a stroker. It's yeah. a crossbow, you know. Well, in his defense, this year, I was like, because we we didn't hunt anymore after that. Lexi had hunted and she'd done her thing, and right. we were done. Luke hunted and we were finished. Yeah, he was all ticked and he was ready to give up everything. Oh yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah. and because uh, he's a good deer, he's a good, pretty good ten point. Yeah, I and, remember uh, the remember the some of the footage y'all had. Of it. Yeah, and uh, so anyway, fast forward to this year. Uh, we get Lexi's bow crossbow out and get inside it in. And dude, it was six or eight inches high and like three inches to the left. And so at 32 yards, that explains, that explains a lot. He huh? sailed it over his back. Yeah. And you know, this whole time he was, he was blaming himself for the panic he was in because oh, yeah. he couldn't get the safety off yeah. and, and all of that. And come you, to find out his bow was off. You can still just keep that a secret. Don't yeah. Worry. <laughs> Like, yeah, well, you suck, man. Yeah, I texted him. I texted him. Said, "Dude, the boat was off." He's like, "Are you kidding me?" I was yeah. like, "No, no, it was off." So <laughs> it necessarily wasn't you. I mean, I yeah. know you panicked, but yeah, you know. So anyway, that uh, that was, and you know, honestly, that was the really only good shot at a good buck we had on the new really? setup, on the new setup back then. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that was that. You know, that was that between um, muzzle loader and gun season. You know, that oh, week, yeah. that week of bow yeah. you have yeah. in there, that's, yeah. you know, that's prime. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, oh yeah. It's prime, yeah. prime time. So, uh, you know. Yeah. So we don't have a muzzleloader season this year. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's going to be started on that's that. Alternate, alternate gun. <laughs> yeah. It's another gun season yeah. pretty much. Oh yeah, definitely. And I, you know, I get the, I get the <clears throat> straight cartridge thing, you yeah. know, and, um, I don't know. I'm just, it's just another way for somebody to shoot one with a gun. Mm -hmm. That's and, and we got the longest gun season ever. Was yeah, it, wasn't ours a month long? I yeah, think. something like that. Yeah, something and crazy. so many deer died. Well, I, I wasn't too upset about it because, like the muzzleloader I have, I think you probably kill a deer at two hundred yards with the thing. So oh yeah, like, no, yeah, that's true. I mean, muzzleloaders today aren't muzzleloaders. I mean, oh, some no, people no. still hunt with those ones. You can 
you know. Yeah, Sabby used to. He was a yeah. old Flint. And yeah, I got mall. a guy that works for me. He's still got that thing. I'm like, what are you doing? Man? He killed a bunch of deer with it. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say nothing about it. I mean, yeah. you know, he's like, you know, get the patch on there and kick yeah. the ball down in there and tap it in and all that. Like, no, nah, I'll use my sabots. And yeah. Well, I got that, l- that lease on the other side of the mountain. So it's like, I, I don't really, I stand hunting a little bit, but like during the rut, I go up there and just walk around. So it was, plus it was an excuse for me to buy another gun. So <laughs> I bought, I bought another gun. It's like, I'm going to walk around. You know, one of those deals you can just keep an orange vest on, walk around, and you normally always come. It's, for me, it's usually a pig that I kill, but something <laughs> something's going down. Yeah, yeah, you know, just kind of creep around. So, did you get some. a straight well cartridge? Did I you? did. I got a forty. I got a Henry forty five seventy forty five seventy lever action. Yeah. Okay, so the um, my brother got the was it three fifty three fifty legend? legend probably. I think that's what. Yeah, it that's 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 a pretty popular one. I wanted a. I wanted a forty five seventy since I was like seven years old watching Gunsmoke with my dad. I never had an excuse to buy one, so I <laughs> no, this, one. this gave me an excuse to buy one. So I'm, like, no. I'm getting that Henry. So you're telling me that the muzzleloader is not going to even get out of the gun cabinet? I don't think so. I don't think so. As a matter of fact, wall. I don't even know if I'll take the TK. I think I'm going to hunt with that forty five seventy all the way through gun season. Are you? Too. Yeah, nice. that'd be so cool to kill a deer with that gun. Yeah, like, yeah, come yeah. On, like, yeah, yeah. We got to sign in guns, by the way. Yeah, I know. We need to get on that. I'll get with Sabatucci and we'll. Yeah, that I actually happen. drove by there. One day when I was pull, maybe pulling the equipment over here and I looked up on the hills, I need to get over here. I was hoping to have the suppressor for that 4570 before I sighted it in, but I don't think it's going to happen. So. Oh, really? Yeah, see, I know I know I'm going to have Clint's in probably. Yeah. My brother. So. Uh, yeah, uh, we got to get on that because that's like, golly, dude, that's, what, three weeks away? Um, sounds right, yeah. Coming quick. Yeah, I haven't even shot this gun because I was hoping to have the suppressor for it. So I'm not going to sight it in until I get the... Suppressor, suppressor on it because you know that that bigger bullet is probably going to drop a little bit suppressed. But yeah, uh, I'm I'm a little bit scared to shoot it. Just just for the kick. dude, you seen a forty five seventy bullet? Like yeah, yeah, it's like a it's hog kinda, leg. It's kind of <laughs> crazy, like <laughs> chunking it out there. Yeah. Is it? Luckily, my right shoulder is okay. It's my left shoulder that's bad, so oh, I'll yeah. be all right. Well, it's yeah, it's it's my left shoulder too. So we're, yeah. we're in the same boat. Yeah. Yeah, we were trying to carry stuff today, and we're like, hey, uh, we'll carry with my other hand. 51's really taking a uh, toll 47, on 47, brother. Yeah. So like, yeah. <laughs> you know, what do you do? It is what it is. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Take some. My wife freaks out because uh, if she has a headache or something, she's like, oh, I may take an Advil, but I better I better eat something first. And when I have an ache, I take like six on an empty stomach. It's like, <laughs> you you scare me. You scare me. It's like, well, I'm my, my back's feeling better. My blood's like, thinner. I'm, I'm feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm feeling like, no pain. I've been seeing him like Tic Tacs over here. <laughs> now, when I was having those back problems, I did, dude. I, was, uh, no, I was suffering. I was, I was that, going dude. through bottles and bottles, but you know, I'm not taking any pain medication. Like yeah, no, it makes me sick anyway. Yeah, me too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I think I went through four or five bottles of the uh, what do they call that stuff? Um, Biofreeze and little roll on mm-hmm. ones. I roll it on my back and take some. Take a bunch of ibuprofen or Advil or whatever's mm-hmm. hanging out there. And just survive. Get, at, get after it. Just survive. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, dude, you need to get off that tractor. Like, yeah. Mm. Yeah, my chiropractor hated that. I was like, oh, okay. And he laid down on tables and like, start filling my bags. Like, what did you do this weekend? I was like, well, I moved to a washer and a dryer. I'm reading all in my kitchen, slid the fridge out, and yeah. rode the tractor for two hours, brush hog, and like, dude, you, you, can't be, you can't be doing that. Like, it's like, put me in the ground, brother. What, yeah, what do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, like, not survive. Mm-mm, no, I know that. We, I talk about that all the time. It's like, well, if something goes awry, it's going to be pretty rough, mm-hmm. you know, if I mm-hmm. go down, down. like. Yeah, no, I I was, get, I'm the same way. Being yeah. self-employed and everything, man, it's like, what happens if I can't work? Mm-hmm. You know, it's kind of scary, really. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't really dwell on it. I probably should, but I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get up the next no. day, though. Yeah, it's all good. I just, I just think about, like, if I'm, you know, Stuck in the house or something like that that I don't do well with. Yeah, that. Like, you can go crazy. I'm, I'm not a depressed person at all, but when my back was at its, at its worst and I could weed eat for like 20 seconds at a time, and it was I, getting to you. Yeah, I was like, I was starting to get depressed, man. Yeah. I, you know, yeah, you're was, a go, was, you're was, a goer. It man. was not good. Yeah, yeah, I like to be moving. Yeah, you're a goer. I've, I've learned that about you, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is good because I kind of am too. And yeah, yeah, um, we work pretty good together. Oh, when it comes definitely. To that. Yeah, we can get we can get some stuff done like the. The last client said, it's like, you guys like wasted no time. And yeah. Just he said, There's, straight y'all, have, to work. y'all have no wasted movements on those tractors either. It's like, like you know, no. you're, 
you're doing your deal over here. I got the rake on. I'm backing up, raking stuff. You're coming behind me, scooping it, and like, yeah, oh, you're char- You're getting charged by the hour. You gotta appreciate that. Yeah, right? <laughs> we don't we don't fiddle yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. I've still <clears throat> got a little bit of that dust in my lungs. I believe. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude me that, too. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm still yeah. hacking up some yeah. stuff on that one because that was a. Uh, Five hour dust bowl. Man. Yeah, it was a uh, not what I expected when I looked how no. close he was to the river. I, I know. Like, we're basically right, but we're getting some awesome soil there. But yeah, yeah it, was it was hard, pretty brutal. Yep, it was brutal. But hey, you know, hopefully yeah. he's got some sprouts coming up. You know, yeah, no, he definitely should by now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just, you know, man, I'm concerned about this dang weather. Mm, I know. Oh, gosh. Well, yeah, it's not, a, it's not ideal, but I mean, when are you going to plant them? No, no. I mean, it's yeah. it's the best time to put them in. It's just, yeah. you're. Well, I pulled the trigger on mine and you're kind of like, man, are you sure? I was like, I'm trying it. I'm, I'm going. And I'm glad I did because we were able to get everybody else done and get yours done. Can you imagine else. if we'd have piled all that together? Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It would have been, yeah, well, it, we'd still be on the tractor probably. Yeah, no kidding. <clears throat> no kidding. Which, you know, we'll see. I mean, hopefully, hopefully we don't lose our plots and. Have to redo everything, golly! I, can't, I don't even want to don't, talk about that. I don't think so, man. Especially, I don't either. Especially I mean, not the one, you know, some of the the hand seeded ones, maybe. But yeah. like, I, I, dude, I think that thatch is going to hold it enough. Well, you saw in my place, I mm-hmm. mine sprouted and it went through what eight, eight or nine straight days of like oh. ninety plus, and it did fine. So, yeah, 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 for sure. I think we're going to pull through now. Some of the hand seeded ones. Maybe, but you know, this year is the first year ever I drilled everything. I drilled my kill plots too. So yeah, yeah. Um, Left. Hey, I got a, a good comment on uh, YouTube about the about the drill. Yeah, a guy got on there and was talking about <clears throat> they converted to no no till drill a couple yeah. of years ago. Okay, and they're big food potters like us. And he bought a different brand, an inexpensive brand, less <clears throat> less expensive. And he said the problem was is they didn't weigh enough. Oh, and not he said heavy it, enough. They couldn't penetrate. Yeah. Couldn't penetrate the soil. And he said it didn't work. Yeah. And he said. Uh, they got a better brand, <clears throat> not the Genesis, but something real similar. Yeah, maybe pH pH outdoors. Some, I think got to something like Paul that. Hollis. And said that you know they've had real good success ever since. Yeah, um, but they also uh, hand seed too. You know, yeah. they they're kind of like us. They're doing yeah, both little mix. Yeah, yeah, and it was really interesting. I mean, it was somebody to to actually come in and say, "Hey, this is what's worked for us." And yeah, no, I I that's what we do because we don't know what we're doing. We're just yeah. doing it. No, and I'm, and the thing <laughs> is, that's how we learn. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. that's you know, we talk about it all the time. I, I, this is my twenty fourth year yeah. planting food plots, uh-huh. dude. We, I've learned. As yeah. every year, I learned something last year. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like I've yeah. arrived. We well, especially not. now that we've converted over to the no till yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's all it's new like, to us. It's like a, all new to us. It's a whole other ball game, you know? Yeah, yeah. But talking about that drill, yeah. So, um, I was looking in for mine. They have coulters that go on the front of them that kind of like till up the ground a little bit before the seed goes in. Oh, yeah. Which helps for really, really hard ground. I opted not to get them, and I'm glad I didn't pay the extra money because. That dude just it puts it in the ground. Like, no, that thing's heavy, dude. I don't, yeah. That sucker's heavy. It's all that tractor wants, man. Yeah. Especially when you got 300 pounds of seed in it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, I was, well, we were talking digging. about that a while back. It's like I needed one time to just put this thing in second gear and rev it up and use the wheels of that as a wheelie bar and see how far I can ride a wheelie with the, with it full, with the hopper fully loaded. It's like, guarantee I can probably oh, do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, we actually had a comment um, from somebody wanting to know if they could get a five-footer because we got the, you got the three footer, uh-huh, yeah. Get a five footer with a forty seven horse, and yeah. it's like, bro, I don't know, I'm thinking, nah, no. That forty you got is the three is all she wants. Yeah, no, it really is. Yeah. It really, so yeah, it do is. the math on we did. The, I did the math on that because I was wanting the five as well. Yeah, but uh, I love my little tractor. It's just a forty horse, but dude, it it, it does, does everything. It does what I needed to do. I probably push it way too hard, but it's like I can get down all my corridors with it. And we were talking about that. It's like I'd like to have a cab tractor eventually, but I would I won't sell this one because yeah, keep it. It's That's just too, it's too dang handy, man. Mm-hmm. Like it kind of does what you need it to do. And yeah, that new client property we did. If we hadn't had the smaller tractors, mm-hmm. it'd have been a mess. Oh yeah, you yeah. Know, we we had to worm in some situations there. Yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah, it was. That was probably changing implements was the worst part of making that drive all the way back to where we parked the gooseneck and then driving all the way back mm-hmm. in there. Like, man, how legit is that place though, man? Oh, man. That, that that got me excited just seeing mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know what the possibilities are here. Yeah. River right there, ag on the All other side. All grown up sick, dude. Yeah. God. So the, the kid inherited that property. Really? Which is amazing. That's, that's awesome. Like, yeah. You know, and, and you know, you got to think. 
you gotta be pretty thankful that, you know, your grandfather thought of you that much. Well, thought of you that much and didn't want to like, Hey, you know, I haven't used this thing in years. I'm going to get the money out of it. Instead, he handed it down to somebody that's going to manage it. And yeah. That's, that's huge. Yeah. That's a big deal, man. <clears throat> yeah. That's a big deal. I, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm happy for him and I'm hoping that it's big results. You well, know? you know, the way it's set up, like I told him, I was like, dude, I could definitely see something staging here before they go to ag. You got food in between there. And, you know, a couple of years from now, you may want to extend that food plot out, make it a little bit even bigger. Yeah. 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 Um, Access could be a problem because it's a long way to get in there. Mm-hmm. That's my, mm-hmm. that'd be my only thing. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's one of them, um, rut all day sit situations. Yeah. Yeah. If for you sure. Can, you know, that, that's going to put you in the best chance. At least so. thick. I mean, that place, yeah. that place was thick. thick. I and it, I also seen an, an issue there if, when it's wet. Yeah. That bottom was yeah. rutted up. Oh, man. yeah. And I thought, man, it may be tough to get in well, here. On that creek that I got stuck on my tractor, they put a <laughs> yeah. bunch of blocks of stuff in there. It was like that that thing. Hmm, I don't know. It must <laughs> it must run because it was deep. Yeah, it was very deep. And they tried to make us a crossing through there. And yeah, yeah, I got hung up there. You, a got, you, bit. you had some troubles, man. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I was smoking my tires, popping wheelies, and everything else, trying to get out of there. <laughs> stuff falling off. Yeah. yeah, we we did it. We did it though. We got across, but yeah. So, guys, a whole lot of stuff's coming. We got, yeah. uh, we're back. It's kind of cool to be back. I it know, is, man. This I, is fun. I, I know this is uh, something I enjoy, and I know you enjoy it. Yeah. And we can talk talk shop all day long, you know. Oh, yeah. It's, that's pretty easy. Well, so we got the boy coming in, and then I've got a uh, friend of mine and his brother that went on an elk hunt. They've got a great story. So yeah, I'm excited that. about that, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be good. A lot of good stuff coming. Yep, a lot of good stuff coming. A lot of progress. We'll keep you updated on the food plots and hunting season in general. Yep, yep. Drill and till battle. Drill, Drill and till keep... battle. Yeah, yep. I can't wait for that one. Yes. Yeah. Probably won't be too much longer. Next week's probably going to stunt everybody's oh, progress. But... Gosh, I hate to think about that. But yeah. yeah. Let's quit yeah talking maybe about a couple it. weeks. Maybe a couple weeks we'll yeah. have a <laughs> yeah. update on that. But hey, guys, we want to thank you guys for listening today. This is we're, we're glad to be back. Yeah, glad to be back. Thank you. Bye, everybody.